Hello everybody, happy Saturday. As usual, I have my Lilith incense and my Lilith oil on the oil warmer here. Jay just jumped up here to say hello. You can make your own Lilith incense. <clears throat> she likes um, rose and patchouli basically. And that's what I made the oil out of. And then I printed off this picture and put it in a little frame. And so I've talked about her a lot. She is the defender of women, and she can help you when it comes to matters of being treated fairly. Today I thought I would talk to you about tarot and using tarot to influence certain things to change. Um, I have been doing a lot more tarot readings this past month or so, almost on a daily basis. But... In this particular instance, we're going to be using the images of the tarot cards to influence things. So these are tarot spells, all right? It does not require an in-depth working or knowledge of tarot. It is art, okay? And art is a very powerful medium. What we will be doing is actually encouraging things to form in the etheric plane. And so this is actually uh, manifesting, manifesting things that you need, all right, and things that you would want. Um, and, you know, this generally requires you to have some maturity and know what's best for the situation. And in my particular path, we always say, with good to all concerned. So today's tarot spell is um, really influenced by this book that I bought years ago called Tarot Spells, and it is by Janina Renee, and that's the same author that has a book on tarot for the self. In here, she has a working for decisions that does include the justice card. However, I have been led to see something different. Um, I, I'm learning more. I'm gaining deeper understanding. Now, as the Ace of Swords recommends, excuse me, Jade's kind of purring and rubbing on everything over here. The Ace of Swords represents clear thinking, clarity of mind. Uh, cutting away things. And so this is the power of the intellect, and this is a focus, all right? An ability to stand for something and um, make a good decision. So what I have seen is... <clears throat> The two of pentacles come up with the ace of swords. Now, this would literally mean clear choice. This would be where someone has decided or is going to be influenced to actually choose something that's best for them. So this spell is geared towards you or someone you know who you know needs to make a decision on a particular thing that they have been wavering back and forth from, teeter-tottering, going back and forth from two things. And they really need to make a decision and focus on one. They need to make a choice. And this would influence the person to make that choice and stick with it. Now, the other card that you could add would be justice, and this is about making a decision, a judgment, a good judgment call. And you see the scales here, which is a balance. Keeping a balance, making a decision, there's the sword. You could add that if you want. So then here you're going to have it angled 
where you can see it, or you're going to stand them up somewhere where you can see them. And then I always like to use a candle, so I would be putting a tea light candle here, or a tall candle with candlestick holder with a candle on top behind it. So if I go and get a candle to show you that, be putting these two cards here, and then going to get a candle and putting a tea light candle here on top. Fire is a very powerful medium. It really helps to manifest and give energy. Now as you see here, there's a beautiful cover on this book that shows two candlesticks with two candles flanked on either side of a water goblet or a wine goblet with an offering to spirit. And below that are three cards for the spell and then a little holder for some dry, loose, dried flowers and herbs for incense to attract spirit. Very beautiful. This would be a sacred space or an altar. This is not quite how I do my layouts, but I like it very much, and I have done it once. And um, I may do it again. My candlesticks are preoccupied at the moment, so I would have to use, say, these two candle holders I have here, one on either side. And then I do recommend water because it acts as a portal to spirit. So you would want to call in your spirit guides, your guardian angel, your higher self, um, that this be done for the highest good of all concerned. Otherwise, things are just going to probably become messy. Okay. All right. I've turned my little tea light holders upside down, put two tea lights, and then I got my sacred water goblet here. Mine is blue. You don't have to do this. You can use one candle. You can put it there and you can put the goblet over here. But it's a good idea, I think, to have water as a portal. Now, after uh, you've set everything up, obviously you're going to have to do your recitations. You're going to have to write out what it is that you want the person to do. So here in her book, she has a set of words that would be specifically geared towards this working. I draw upon the powers above me and the powers within me. I choose from the paths which lay before me. Or you would insert that person's name. So and so chooses from the paths which lay before them. I balance all factors, right? I influence this person to make the best decision. So and so makes the best decision. They weigh this problem. Everything they need to know and every path they need to take is revealed to them. All is in keeping with the longings of my heart or their heart and their highest purpose, their highest destiny. So it is and so it shall be. So in keeping things positive and in present tense, you're going to be stating what it is that you want the person to do, to make the decision, to choose Choose wisely, stick with it, um, make the best decision that's best for them and everybody else concerned. And uh, you could, like I said, you could always add the justice card, which is about making a decision and making it fair for all concerned. And then you could also add a picture of the person, the name of the person, and things like that. All right? That's it for today. Blessed be, and I will see you later.